Hi, this is Torkel at Voices. Today I want to show you how we do when we measure latency at Voices. Now, what is latency? Uh, well, the way latency matters to us is the time uh, from when something happens to that thing showing up on the, the monitor. And in this case, it's just a camera connected to a monitor, so it's really very low latency as you can see. And what I'm doing now is actually sort of the easiest way that you can measure latency. Just hold your hand, wave it around, and you can see um, how much time it takes. And you can see that it's really low, but it doesn't really tell you anything other than that. Does it feel good? Does it feel like it's low latency? Or does it feel like it's high latency? Now let me show you an easy way that you can measure latency and get a bit more of an accurate result. So now I've uh, made the, the setup that you can use to measure latency easily. Uh, so it's a mobile phone uh, with the timer on. So this starts increasing and then uh, the camera will film this. And what you will do is you will use another mobile phone and you will or, or another camera and then take a photo of this. And the difference between these two times, that will be your latency. Uh, this is easy, this is much more accurate than just waving your hand, but there are many inaccuracies in this which comes from that you have a refresh rate of this mobile phone and you will have discrete samples whenever you take a photo of this and this will add uh, or remove latency so it's going to make uh, your measurements be not at all as accurate as uh, they could be. So this is how we do latency measurements at Voices. Instead of uh, waving the hand or using mobile phones, uh, we have a setup where we have an LED which we can control and then we have a photodiode which observes uh, the screen. And then we plot that on the computer. So what you see here is uh, live data updated in real time and I can uh, show that if I wave the photodiode around you can see the data changing there on the screen. Uh, so the yellow one is the, what we read from the photodiode, and the red is the status of the LED. And then we take the timing difference from uh, the LED turns off or uh, from it turns on, and then until it crosses the, uh, the yellow across the blue line here, and we can control where this uh, value is. And then we measure this value, and then we output that, and that allows us to get some nice uh, statistics of it. So we can get a histogram of all the latency values we get. Uh, we can get the, uh, the mean and we can also get the standard deviation. So for this setup here, we can see that it's uh, pretty much exactly uh, it's 89 or 90 millisecond uh, latency for this one. And we have a standard deviation of uh, 10 milliseconds, uh, which is because of the frame rate here is not synced up with the frame rate of the monitor. Uh, and this is running at 30 fps and I think the monitor is running at 30 as well, but I'm not actually sure. It might be 60 on this one. Uh, so this is how we do latency measurements. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good way of doing it. And to show you uh, what this looks like with another camera with better latency, uh, here is an industrial uh, gigabit ethernet uh, uh, camera. And if you look at the latency for this one, uh, well, it's hard to see here, but we're actually down to about 50 milliseconds of latency. And if we look at the statistics for it, you can see that we're at 47 milliseconds plus minus 7. Uh, so this has uh, a lot better uh, latency than you could even get with an SDI camera. And this is what we are typically seeing when we are working with cameras. And this is actually including uh, stitching. So uh, this would be true if we show it on a dome or if we show it on a VR headset.